guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm gonna be doing a recent reads video. Today I'm gonna be talking about the recent reads and romance that I have been embarking on, which has been quite a bit, a lot more than some of the other recent reads videos that I've been doing. So I'm really excited to share with some share with you some of the romance novels that I've been reading. The first two I'm gonna quickly mention fir first. Uh, the first two I'm gonna quickly mention, um, and there are sirens going off, so I hope that they're okay. Okay, I'm gonna quickly talk about um, two books first because they are the only non-adult romance books that I have read recently. So the first one is uh, The Golden Lily, and the second one is Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead. These are books two and three in the Bloodline series. I love how I had to point to them both specifically. Um, and this series follows a character that we meet in like book four, three or four of Vampire Academy. Her name is Sydney and she is an alchemist and an alchemist in this world basically takes care of vampire messes and um, they kind of protect the vampires at a very, um, in a very like we don't really want to protect you, but we will because we want to protect humanity type of mindset. And Sunny has grown up in this world and she has to take care of one of the main characters um, of this story as well, which I'm not going to tell you who it is because if you are currently reading Vampire Academy or you are currently um, trying to read Vampire Academy or this, well, this series wouldn't really spoil you, but it would spoil you for Vampire Academy and I don't want to do that. So go on to this mission and protect this um, vampire, Mori uh, vampire girl okay um and i've really enjoyed the series it's so good so far i do want to say really quickly that there are airplanes going by and they have been annoying me all day um they are jets from the air force and they look so cool but we're not going to talk about them right now okay we're going to talk about these books what's my dog getting into but anyway yeah so um i'm really enjoying the series a lot i want to say quickly before i start to get too far into my thoughts that i do think that you can read these b without reading vampire academy as long as you don't want to read vampire academy because it will spoil you for the whole entire series so if you're one of those people that were like I don't really want to read Vampire Academy but Bloodlines kind of sounds really interesting I would definitely try to pick it up um, even if you're kind of on the fence about it uh, it explains the whole world it explains Sydney's whole world it explains you know everything that happened in Vampire Academy it explains the characters and it explains a lot um, and I feel like if you wanted to go down that route you might actually enjoy these more than people who've read Vampire Academy did just because of um Sydney's mindset is a little bit annoying when you've read six books about vampires and love them and then the main character of this book hates them so it's kind of hard to get acclimated to that but I do really enjoy the series I think I gave this one a four and a half stars uh, mostly because of Sydney's mindset still and the way she acted towards the vampires I kind of got a little bit annoyed but I really enjoyed it and in this one um I gave it a four and a half stars because it was a little bit predictable um in a way that the other books weren't and I kind of disliked that um, and it kind of pulled me out of the story a little bit like I would skim read a little bit and that wasn't good so I gave it a four and a half stars but I really enjoyed the series I'm finding a new appreciation for um, Adrian because I did not like Adrian in Vampire Academy so I'm finding a very very new appreciation to him and I am enjoying his character a lot so and Cindy's character is awesome she's just really freaking cool okay so that's the two um, non-adult romances that I have read this month the next ones are all adult romance and the first two are Kristen Ashley novels this month no recently not this month okay um yeah the first two are Kristen national novels and i read these back in january the first one being um wild and free which is the third book to her with three series and then i also read fantastical which is the third book in her fantasy land series and i really enjoyed both of these books i gave wild and free a five out of five stars and also fantastical five out of five stars fantastical was my favorite book so far in her Fantasyland series. Um, I had major issues with the second book in that series, very, very major issues, and um, this one was a lot better, and I enjoyed it so much. It was so much fun, and I highly recommend if you have a chance to pick up her Fantasyland series to do it. Basically, it's a portal fantasy, so we have real life, and most of the female characters get transported to this fanti fantasy um, world and they kind of have to deal with being someone that everyone there thinks they are but they're not and it's very great and really enjoy this series a lot except for the second book. <laughs> I gave it five out of five stars like I said and then Wild and Free is the third book in her 
with three series which is her first urban fantasy series that I it was my first well it's more of like a paranormal urban fantasy series and it was the first one that I actually read by her and it was really great I finished the first two books a very very long time ago like in 2012 really enjoyed them had a lot of fun reading them um, I actually read them out of order but I would not recommend doing that because you miss a lot of important information and I definitely would not pick up the third one until you've read the first two because definitely 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 has major spoilers and things like that. But this um, series, the With Three series, follows these three characters. You have a wolf, a vampire, and then a hybrid. And basically there's this prophecy that states that they all will save the world um, together, working together. So it's kind of just their journey together and how that goes about doing that and um, how they save the world and it was really enjoyable um, yeah I really liked Abel and Delilah which are the two main characters of Wild and Free and it was a lot of fun my girl Kristen Nash wrote me a good one um, the next book that I read was a copy that I got off of Neck Alley and it's called it's called Playing for Keeps and it's the second book in the Playmaker series and it is by Kate Donovan and this book is following a um, quarterback of a very popular football team and a female who is a um, uh, la, 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 la. like a business woman like an entrepreneur what is that called kind of like a she's not really a graphic designist but she kind of um, does like commercials she makes commercials I don't really know what that's called and I can't remember but um, it's really good I really liked it I gave it a three out of five stars um, I really liked the football aspect to it the author did a great job with um, like making it really football-esque um, we had a lot of football games that we got to sit in and watch and I felt like I was actually watching a football game which was really nice because I actually read this on Super Bowl Sunday so that was a lot of fun and um, yeah I just had a lot of fun reading it and like I said three out of five stars the next book that I read was was um, the game plan which sounds like another football game a football fantasy but it wasn't it is actually the fourth book is it fourth fifth fifth book in the neighbors from hell series which is one of my ongoing favorite um, adult romance series and it follows these characters that hate each other in the beginning um, but then really like each other at the end and it's a lot of fun um, I will say that I I, I don't know I, I know some people have problems with you know um, main guy characters being mean to female characters. Um, I've taken a lot of notice to uh, certain issues that's been going on in the romance community and just the reading community in general. And I feel like this topic is brought up a lot about how, um, you know, we shouldn't romanticize abuse. And I will say that I completely agree with that um, offside. Um, but this book does not have that same sort of poll. Like, I don't think that the male characters are um, particularly mean to the female characters without the female characters being particularly mean to the male characters. It balances out and I think it makes for a really fun novel um, and I really like the way that R.L. Mathewson, who is the author, <laughs> writes these novels and I've enjoyed reading them um, for a, lot, a while now and um, yeah, I really liked this one. Um, this one follows two characters and um, I don't really want to talk too much about their plot, but basically they really hate each other and they do things on purpose to be mean to each other and um, that always just makes for a fun novel in my opinion, like, you know, stealing the washing machine when the other person's using it, not like pushing them downstairs or anything like that, so yes. <laughs> Um, really enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. And the last romance novel that I have read recently was Hard as Ink, right? Hard as It Gets, which is the first book in the Hard Ink um, series, and this is by Laura Kane. And Laura Kane is really well respected in the romance community, and I have yet to read any books by her, so I was really excited to pick this up. Um, and it follows this guy who uh, is discharged from the military, and there's like this whole mystery surrounding that, and this girl who actually has ties to this guy, um, like her dad used to be the commander of his um, platoon, um, and he was like a uh, Green Beret, what do they call that? Um, Special Forces? Or is it Army Rangers is the Green Beret, I think, maybe. Um, anyway, he was a special, he was on Special Forces in the, in the military, in the Army, and, um, and her dad kind of had this really weird mystery surrounding them, and it was very intense, and so, um, yeah. They, so they kind of have history, but they don't really because they don't know each other. And so then um, something happens that the main girl character gets this note from her brother who's missing and it says to go find this guy at this tattoo shop and so she goes and then he wasn't really nice to her about it and he didn't really want to talk to her because he has some pretty bad memories with her dad and he does not really want to put up with her a little bit and then he finds out that the situation is a lot more serious than she initially thought it was and so he finds out and then kind of helps her through it and kind of does some really cool like commando stuff it was a lot of fun super 
unrealistic, but still so much fun to read. Um, I really like the way she wrote this novel. Like I said, it was fun and it was really action packed and very um, intense and sometimes at some points and just very great. I love military romances. They're like one of my all-time favorites, one of my go-tos. So I really liked that and also features some tattoos which are really cool too. Um, and yeah, so I really enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars and I cannot wait to get on with the other books in the series. I've heard great things about those books as well. So that is all the romances that I've been reading le recently, recently. Um, and yeah, let me know down below what you guys have been reading and picking up. Let me know what you've been enjoying. Um, I really like to know. I, I have kind of had a little bit of dry spell with romances and now I'm back into them so I want to get into what's new. So leave me down your favorites from last year or any of your favorites currently that you have read and I will definitely pick them up and check them out. But I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know any other books that you guys are reading and enjoying and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!